Hey everyone, this is Melissa with The Creative Season and we're doing something different today. I am very excited. So we are going to create a fall collage. I do these every year and I do some more extensive ones, but this is a small one and it's fun and it's a great way to be creative and really get into the fall season and create a beautiful work of art. And if you're not terribly arty or you feel like you're not artistic per se, this is great for you. Um, I have a lot of people say um, I, I'm not... I, I, I don't like to, I, I'm not good at it. So we did those leaves a few weeks back, which I kind of hopefully dispelled the fact that everyone can paint leaves. And these are wonderful things to put into your collage. We're all creative in different ways. We may not all have the same aptitudes and we all are different levels and skills, but a collage is something everyone can do and I always call them beautiful messes. So what I've done, what you will need to do though is get a canvas. Um, this is one I made last year that I pulled out. It's a little bit smaller. I think this is a six by six. And this is what we're going to be creating today. There's something similar. I always paint a bottom layer first, so go ahead and paint a bottom layer. What I did is I took some, um, I took Alizar and Crimson and Burnt Sienna acrylic. I add a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium to it. So this was my colors. It was a uh, Burnt Sienna. And then I think that, yeah, that Alizar and Crimson right here, you don't need special brands. It doesn't have to be super fancy. I just put, I mix it a little bit together. I wanted a more a burgundy color. And you can see I really am happy with this. And then I actually used a blow dryer to get it dry. And what I've decided to do is I pulled out, I found this quote, Dream a Little Dream, which this is the year of craziness with COVID and all the things. So, um, and also a year where I've really been pursuing some things in my heart, a little dreams you might call. So I, this, this, this quote really resonated with me and I think there's some things that are popping up and I'm, I'm going to put this quote so that when people come into my home, when I encourage them also to dream a little dream. I have some leaves here. I have the painted leaves. I have some raffia. So um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll kind of play around. Uh, the raffia comes in at the end, but I'll think, okay, you know, how do I want this to look? And I'll just kind of play around with layering and, um, you know, maybe I just want this on the bottom. I'm actually going to have a layer of gesso, so there's going to be white, which creates a nice popping out effect. And the other thing that I'm going to use is Mod Podge. That's going to go on at the end, and I you'll see the final, there'll be a final picture on the blog, and I'll put one in the thumbnail. But the Mod Podge, I do have to wait for that gesso to dry. So this is a super fun and easy project. We've got our canvas, you've painted it, we've got all the fun things, whatever you want to put on that reminds you of fall. You can cut out magazine pictures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gesso here and I just use like an old hotel card or an old um, card of some sort and I'm just going to put a little bit of gesso. I'm not going to cover the whole thing up. I'm going to just put a little bit here in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these leaves here and I'm actually going to use the gesso to adhere it down. And then I'm also going to put gesso on top of it. It's going to be bulky and the gesso does end up I'm covering it and it might blend. Now you notice I've covered up all my colors, but don't worry. You can leave it like that or you can simply um, take a little bit off. So you could take another card and just scrape it off like this. Isn't that fun? And see how it's now adhered. It's going to take a little, it will take a little bit of time to dry. So if you're making this as like a gift or you want to make sure you give yourself time to dry, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up those edges and I'm going to go ahead and put another one. I think I'll put one up here and again a little bit more gesso. Now on this one I don't want the gesso up here so I'm just going to put it like that and the Mod Podge will end up putting the Mod Podge dries clear. So that's kind of that's a good idea too if you want to put like your quote on top and you don't want that under colors, you don't want that blended. I'm going to go ahead and put another one here. And you know, I am just laying these down. I'm not being terribly picky or particular. I am kind of thinking, the one thing I am thinking, okay, where is, where do I want the eye to go to? And wherever I want the eye to go to with that quote, I'm kind of wanting everything to circle around and then eye, eyeball in there. I'm going to put, a, go ahead and put this leaf down here. And I'm just going to gently press that in. The leaf is going to be rather gentle. The other thing you could do is you can see with the gesso, if you lift it up, it leaves a mark of the leaf, which is pretty cool, which is probably another project in and of itself, right? Another day. I'm going to put one down here too. They may crack a bit. That's okay. I'll probably end up putting some Mod Podge over them. And I'm going to put that up here. 
I'm going to put this leaf right up here, maybe. I think maybe over here. I actually haven't used real leaves in a while, so this is all an experiment. But that's what art is. When we play, it's fun to experiment. It may not turn out exactly like we thought. You notice when I put the gesso on top, just put it holding some pressure. So here we have what looks like pretty much a mess. And that's how collage usually will end up. Now you could layer and layer and layer and layer if you wanted to. I am not going to. Um, and with this particular one, this has really been, oh, I think I want my to cut that off. The making of the collage is really symbolizes the completion of a lot of work, right? Because it's been a process. I've painted my leaves. I've gone and collected the other leaves. I've searched through my fall stuff to find the raffia. I chose my colors. So when I make collages like these, I really do love that process of creating um, a work of art that's a culmination of a lot of different moments. It's been a lot of different times that I've been spending over the workbench um, with my um, on my art table or looking at the leaves. Um, and it's, it's, it all comes together. So even though the act itself of creating the collage doesn't take too long, I really love, um, I really love this process. I love the pro love it seeing it all come together. I'm gonna put a little gesso right in there. Okay, that's coming along really nicely. And then I need a little bit more right down there with this leaf. And yes, your fingers do get messy. So maybe don't do this if you're coming out for a manicure. And you can see the colors where I've let them pop out. And this one down here, it is drying already. I'm rubbing my finger on it. So if you wanted those colors to pop out more, you might be able to scrape it off with a little bit, but not quite. Not to, so, And I'm okay with that because we're gonna end up putting our quote right on top of there and I will use the Mod Posh for the quote. If you have fabric leaves, the fabric leaves are really nice. That's another addition to this. Okay, so I've held on, that looks really nice. I'm just gonna grab my paper towel and wipe off my fingers really quick. You can see how this is actually gonna adhere, it's, adhere itself very, very nicely. And you can see that coming together. I'm kind of creating an outside where we're gonna put the quote right here. And of course, I think I need to grab my Mod Podge, which I left below. The other thing you can use as well is a glue gun if you didn't have Mod Podge, but this is the Mod Podge I'm gonna use and it has a gloss. You can also get one that's more of a matte. And I am going to put the Mod Podge and I'm gonna put this, in fact, I'm gonna stick it under the leaf right here. And then I'm going to layer some on top of it. Now for the Mod Podge, a word of warning, um, it will stiffen any brushes that you use. So if you're using a paintbrush to apply the Mod Podge, make sure that you take it out um, and rinse it really well. I use these, I just grab like a bulk buy of these spongy little guys. I put Mod Podge on it. I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the back. and I kind of just squeeze it out on there. And we're gonna put it over the leaf, I think, too. We're gonna put it down here in the corner, and I'm gonna put Mod Podge on the top. Now, even if it looks messy, it actually dries beautifully. The trick with the Mod Podge that I've learned, and I'm gonna stick this underneath the leaf, is to take your fingers, don't be afraid of getting messy. See, with watercolor, it's pretty easy because we always just dry everything off. And see if you can get the buckles out, if you have any buckles in your quote. And the thicker the paper you use, it may buckle it a little bit more. I've got some gesso coming out over here and that's, that's okay. I'll take the gesso over here. And again, if you can just smooth it out. If you wanted to come back and add more paint, you certainly could do that. Now this is looking really fun. I am really, really liking this. I actually think I might want, I might want one more natural leaf right there. That might be fun because what I'm gonna do too is I'm going to finish up with some raffia and I think I'm gonna put that what am I gonna do here? Maybe in the corner, there's other, there's lots of options here. So if I do this, I could always put it down here as well and have it sort of hanging. And that's an option too. 
that's an option too. I really do like the leaf here though. There's something about fall and dreams and harvest that really gets me. So I think I am gonna add one more leaf and yep, it is. It's probably gonna crack a little bit. It may not survive the season. This may be a collage where um, it kind of breaks apart. We are not pulling it out next year or we're pulling it out in pieces and that's okay. Sometimes um, our art is, is for a season. I'm gonna hold that down there and I am liking that. I'm actually liking that a lot. It doesn't wanna stick, that happens too. Okay, let's put you up here. We're gonna put you up here, we're gonna let you dry and it is important to let everything dry. Let it dry for probably a couple of hours. And you know what, I actually think with this, I'm gonna put this guy right up here. I'm actually gonna turn it into a bow so we have a little bit more, not so much length and a little bit more style there. Okay, that's kind of fun. And I'm gonna put this guy here. I'm gonna put the dream a little, I'm gonna put a little bow right over here. I'm gonna move this up a bit so you can see it. And I know my hands are getting in the way here. And I will go ahead, I'm actually gonna just put, pour a little Mod Podge there, there we go. And I'm gonna hold that down right here. Now the fun thing with the collage is too, I may come back. I may go ahead and maybe I'll add another leaf in there. Why not? I may decide that I wanna add something a bit down here, that's a bit big, but I can always come back through or even add, maybe, no, I do like that. I like that a lot. Just a bit of a natural look. Now if you wanted to dry out your leaves or um, put them in wax paper so that they're sealed and flat, that's another option. But this is, yeah, this is really fun. I think this is gonna look very nice on a mantle or on my kitchen counter overlooking on the ledge. And it's just um, representative of some of the art I'm doing, some of the things in my heart this year. And it's just, it's a fun, fun project. We actually put that together fairly fast. You can take your time with these. And many times when I'm working on a larger one of my own where I'm putting a lot more detail into it, I'll take a couple of hours it's very, very relaxing, maybe not even a couple hours, maybe just an hour or two, and put everything together. I will say too, like for this little guy, if I want him to have a clear finish, I will use the hodgepodge instead of the gesso. And so what I'll do is I will go ahead and put on the, hot, the Mod Podge, put that up there. And the beauty of collage too is there's lots and lots of layers. If you have a really favorite leaf, make sure to put that leaf on the top because he'll get buried if you put him down as one of the foundational pieces. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and just rub that down with my fingers. It will tend to buckle, so if you wanna go ahead and pull it down for a minute or two, that'll help it adhere. But this is lovely. It is, it's a beautiful, beautiful, messy collage, which, which is what I love. And, and maybe that's a little bit more of an allegory for a year, of a bit of a, a messy year, but there's gifts and there's treasures and there's a harvest here. So I hope you guys enjoy creating your collages. I would love to see them. Please drop me um, a line over on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Eau Claire, M E L I S S A U C L A I R. I would tag me on your collages. I would absolutely love to see them. All right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon.